Hey, man. You was younger, right? Yeah. He said, yeah. <laughs> you used to call your cousin when you got beat up? <laughs> huh? I think everybody did at least once. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, oh, man, where you my cousin, man? Yo, niggas used to say, niggas used to be like, watch. You watch. I'm gonna give my cousin watch. 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 Like, oh, I'm gonna give my cousin watch. Watch. Like, yo, nigga punched you in the mouth, right? When you was younger. <laughs> like, yeah. He told me to stay in my place. He punched me in my mouth. I'm gonna get my cousin watch. <laughs> going, watch. Watch. I swear. Watch. Watch. And be like, yo, you gonna get your cousin? Be like, yeah. My cousin, my cousin from New York. Or <laughs> Philly. <laughs> my cousin from Philly. Niggas used to be, yo, niggas used to be thinking that that's gonna really scare yeah, niggas. Is. Like, you be petrified if you get, if you get one of your cousins from New York. Yeah. Like, like, yo, you tell a nigga, yo, I'm gonna get my cousin from New York. Watch. Watch, watch. And the niggas be like, oh. He be like, oh, so what, nigga? Go get your cousin from New York. I don't care. He be like, yo, you don't care? His cousin from New York? He be like, yeah, so what? So what? No, dog. He said his cousin from New York. Matter of fact, take this with you. Yeah. And he hit you in the back of the head. Like, yo, man, yo. Take this with you, nigga. Like, yeah. He said, he said his cousin from New York. He be like, you don't care about his cousin being from New York? No, I don't care about his cousin being from New York. So what? So? So what? He gotta come from New York. You're like, he gotta come all the way down here. And then like, yeah. you call your cousin from New York on the phone and be like, yo, <laughs> like, yo hello? Like, first of all, at the time, you could never get, you could never get nobody on the phone because you had to call the house phone and it was always outside. So you waited until like 10.59 at night when he know he had to be in the house at 11 yeah. o'clock. So he came in at 10.59. So you call your cousin like, yo, yo, Brian, 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 Brian. And he like, oh, what's up, cuz? What's up? Be like, yeah. Oh, I'm going to my mom. I'm going to my mom. I'm going to my mom. I'm going to get my cousin from New York, man. You know, you like, and niggas used to talk. Niggas used to talk, right? They used to talk. Niggas used to talk with that with that voice, because that crying, the hysterical voice. I'm going to run, run, run. I'm going to run, run. And then Brian used to be like, yo, calm down. Slow down, bro. Slow down. Slow down. Like, what happened? Tell me what happened. He'd be like, oh, man, I got a boy punched me in my mouth. I said, I'm going to get my cousin from New York. And I told him, I'm going to get my cousin Brian. And Brian will come down. I swear. And Brian, like, yeah, um. I said, uh, Brian, I said you was coming down this weekend. You coming down this weekend, right? And be like, nah. Um, I mean, I could try. Like, yeah, uh, uh, I thought, I told, I told, I told him you was coming down this weekend. <laughs> You like you said I was coming down this weekend? Like, yeah, yeah, Brian. I said you were coming with my cousin Brian from New York. He from the Bronx. You don't play shit. You come with my cousin don't play. He from the Bronx. Everything. He punched me in my mouth. You're like, okay. So now you go, now your cousin come down from your cousin don't come down from New York. And he like, well, he said, oh, listen. He said, yo, man, just give me just get a nigga my number. Tell him to call me. I'll set him straight. So you 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 see the boy on the street, you hype, because your cousin told you to give him the number. Yeah. Because he going to set him straight. But you don't play. So you be like, yeah, my cousin, no, my cousin, my cousin from New York. You don't play. He from New York. I'm from South Jersey. <laughs> he from New York. You ain't kill people out there. I'm from, I'm from New York. My cousin, he from Philly, Southwest. Yeah. New York, Bronx. So you go give you go to you see the same boy that punched you in the mouth told you stay in your place. He like, yeah man, my cousin said give you my number. He said give you his number, and he go yeah. <laughs> so now you give now you give him your you give him. Say nigga, I'm gonna give cousin number. And he punched you in the mouth again. Yeah, yo. So now what you do? You crying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like my cousin from New York. Okay, about your cousin being from New York. I told you that before. Yeah. He punched you in the side of your head. Then he, then he clip you and tie your shoes real tight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Air Force so Ones so back in the day. <laughs> Air Force Ones back in the day, niggas pulled them to us real tight. Did this happen to you? Yo, yo listen. You, so man. he punched him right, so he fall and shit. So now you run back, you run back to the uh to the crib. Yeah. I'm tell your cousin. <laughs> so you gonna only... tell Brian, right? So finally, it's a weekend and Brian comes down, right? And you hide, you so be like, yeah, my cousin coming down with the world, cousin Brian, boy. <laughs> my cousin Brian coming down. 
and Brian comes down from New York. He goes, and you like, yo, Brian, man, yeah, man, um, um, is the boy, remember the boy beat me up two years ago? He lived right around the corner two years ago. So you're not knowing that Brian, Brian come down, Brian like, all right, cool. Let's go talk to the boy. So you go over to him, you go over to the crib. The boy come outside. Boy like, yo, what's up? He like, yeah. You, you, yo, you beat my cousin up? He like, yeah, nigga, that was two years ago. Man, we grown. Nobody care about that now. Nah, man, I do, man. I'm from the Bronx. I'm from New York. He said, okay. Bow, bow. And he killed Brian. Yep. That's what happens, man. Mm -hmm. That's why you never get nobody to fight your battles, yes. man. You got to be a man standing on your own, too. Yep. Because that ain't a laughing matter. Your cousin come all the way down. What you think Brian going to do? I mean, what you think the dude around the corner going to do to Jamal, Brian? He been want? waiting for years for Brian to come down. So you know what time it is. Stop propping your cousins up from these other cities and y'all. Well, they don't do that no more. Niggas is just wild. But back in the day, I was one of those niggas. My cousin from New York. I used to, I used to, I used to think I was scaring niggas when I used to tell them my cousin, my uncle was a cop. Like my uncle a cop. Like your uncle a cop. Like one boy said, nigga, I don't give a fuck about your uncle being a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got, I got even scared her. <laughs> He's like, nigga, I don't care about your uncle being a cop. <laughs> I was like. What you mean? Like, my uncle, I said, yeah, I mean, he come, he come here and arrest everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't care. They don't care. Like, what do you do in a situation like that where the nigga don't care? Get beat up. Yep. So if you're going to get beat up, don't put your cousin in the middle yep. of it. Because niggas you, shoot brains, man. You just be a nigga, you don't even put yourself in those situations. Talking all hysterical. <laughs> he like, yo, you, you got punched in the mouth. For what? He told shit. me to stay in my place. Yeah. And I stayed in my place. I got punched in the mouth. You look like you got beat up when you was younger, though. Nah, not like that. I you, ever called, you, ever called, you ever call? You ever call? You ever call? You ever told you gonna call your cousins from from New York? Not or from New York. No. From South Philly. From Philly. <laughs> I was, I would have fucked you up even more. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you gonna tell your cousins? I'm gonna beat your ass even more. 20 years old, you bet your cousin from Philly, you yeah. tell him shit. Yeah. He told me to call, I got some trouble. Yeah, I got in the fight. My cousin from Philly. Yeah. The, one, the man, you know, the one with the Sunni. My yeah. cousin from Philly. <laughs> he told me to call him. Whenever I got some problems, call me. He said he gonna handle it. My cousin. Well, handle y'all niggas. My cousin gonna handle all y'all niggas. Yeah, cousin from Philly got locked up 10 years ago. You don't even know. You calling around. Like, uh, 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 Tisha. Uh, uh, is, uh, is it Marco, Markel around? He's like, Markel been locked up for 10 years, boy. <laughs> what? What do you mean? He ain't get, I thought he was out. Like, no. Nah. He been locked up for 10 years, boy. What you, what, you, what you want him to fight for you? Oh, no. I, I was just seeing how he was doing. You hang up. Knowing you got to go back to the block. And all them niggas that was waiting for Markel, they waiting for you. Yeah. And they going to whoop your ass again. <laughs> <laughs> this is Markel, nigga. For Markel being locked up. I know Markel. I fucked him up in jail. I don't fuck you up. I can niggas get their ass whooped, man. I'm so sick of niggas. <laughs> you know what's funny, man? They always champion niggas, right? It's like Markel get out of jail. And they like, yeah, he a real one. Yeah, he real one. Yeah, yeah, the nigga died. Yeah. The nigga yeah, just uh, the fuck nigga, died. The nigga, the nigga. He, uh, what's that, Jamal? Jamal. Jamal. Jamal, Jamal was the man. Jamal, Jamal, Jamal was the man. Dude, man. He was a real good dude. He killed 10 people. My mother get killed. And they got, oh my God, we lost the real one. We lost the real one. Jamal. But, uh, but uh, Dave, Dave got out of the hood. He, you think Dave trying to help people? No, he coming <laughs> back. He built so what? He built ten community centers. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, nobody care about Dave. 
We talking about Jamal. Dave got us college grants. Fuck that nigga. Yeah. Jamal had yeah. a day. He twisted the party. Dave, Dave, on hold. That nigga Dave, he ain't do nothing. <laughs> he ain't do nothing. He ain't do nothing. But get my baby mom out of jail. But get my cousins out of jail. But uh, but make a, make sure that we had something for Thanksgiving. He ain't do shit for us. Yeah, but Jamal. So what? But Jamal. Nigga, Jamal nigga, robbed my mother. And he got the high rise on lock. He had the high rise on lock. Means he couldn't get in. Yeah, you see what Jamal, so, you see what Jamal came around yeah. saying the BMW dog? Yeah. Jamal was that dude. He deserved to die. Jamal. That, nigga, that punk ass nigga Dave. Fuck that nigga. Yeah. Dave <laughs> talking about some. He trying to stop gentrification. Who <laughs> ain't trying to stop gentrification, Dave? <laughs> Education. Education. Gentrification. <laughs> what gen are you trying to stop? Gentrification. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even understand what gentrification is. <laughs> Jamal didn't have to understand what gentrification was. He owned everything, yeah. even though it wasn't his. He still owned it. Yeah. Jamal yeah. robbed me, and that's when I started respecting him. Because <laughs> he robbed me. Well, I, you know, that's so funny, man. What I don't get is this, man. I always hated a nigga that you had to whoop his ass with a like you. <laughs> if you ain't like me, nigga, I don't like, like you. Like, the put this nigga ass with you. Yeah. Like, man, no, that's, why, that's how you it always was. You can't just genuinely money. respect me, bro. Like, that's how I was, though, back yeah. in the day. You, you had to fuck genuinely. a nigga up. Yeah. You can't just genuinely respect me. I don't, I don't disrespect you. You don't disrespect me. It's like, you whoop his ass. Now, yeah, yeah. we boys now. We boys. Here, we man. boys. We had a fight. We fought it out. You whooped my ass, man. It's like two lions in the, in the jungle. Yeah. We fought it out. Now we cool. Like, no, nigga, so, we not so, cool. So basically, if I didn't whoop your ass, what you be doing? Talking yeah. shit, bro. We'll whoop his ass. It's always, yeah, and it's always the one that you beat up. Be like, yeah, we cool now. Yeah, it's like, you ever know, seen man. the movies where they have, like, the guy, right? They have, like, the... Uh, yeah. It's always the guy, the guy, the, the 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 guy that's not the tough guy. He win the fight, and then he's still humble. But then you got the other dude be like, yeah. So, and he have all his boys behind him. Like, yeah. So we cool, right? I'm like, no, nigga, I just whooped your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about cool, you trying to act like we like it, like like you still tough, nigga. Yeah, you got your ass whooped. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is, man. Niggas get their ass whooped and they try to act tough. Still got an ego and shit. Fuck you, man. Jamal, that's the man right there. He don't deserve to die, man. God to the real one, to the good one. And pray, the preacher do the same thing. Yeah, you he know Jamal. Like, Jamal go. Everybody didn't understand you know, that boy. You know Jamal. That boy grew up in his church. I understood him. Jamal, God got to understand. He <laughs> got a gangster in heaven now. Jamal was a gangster. That's one thing he was. You couldn't take that away from him. He shot 10 people. You couldn't take that away from Jamal. He was a gangster. God got a new soldier in his army. We got a new yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. He's going to turn that mad at Jamal. He's going to fight for you, Lord. He can't be mad. He wore them shoes. Woo. Them shoes he stole from that other dude. We killed for them yeah. shoes. Yep. You woo. <laughs> woo. <laughs> like, come on, man. Where's your red flare? Red yeah. flare's the pastor. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Like, come on. Let's be serious. Oh, Jamal was a willing dealing. Yeah. <laughs> he provided for his family. Even though he had to kill another family. Yeah. But Dave, I didn't respect Dave. Dave came back thinking he was the shit. He came back and took over everything. Talking about something, yeah, I'm going to make sure this is good. And I'm going, like, no, Dave. No, Dave. No, Dave. God got us. God got us, Dave. Thank you. Yeah. Always Crazy respect shit, Jamal, man. man. Motherfucker doing good for the hood, boy. You want to ride everybody now? I ain't coming back to the hood doing good for the hood. You got celebrities now saying fuck the hoods. They, they know they come and say they're doing good. They don't get, they get shit on. Hey, man, listen, man. Respect your people, man. Love yeah, your people, man. man. Especially if they show you love and respect, man. man. You know what I mean? Stop, stop, getting, stop acting like that little boy that wanted to go to school every day and got shot. He, oh, he don't matter. He yeah. wasn't nobody. Nobody think about him. Yeah. But that motherfucker who whooping everybody's ass and robbing them, that's your boy. That's my yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, you got the sleep in peace shirts and shit. Yeah. But the motherfucking kid got shot in a I ain't put, listen, I, listen, I'm not dude. putting no rest in peace shirt on if it's if it's a dude who who sold drugs and killed his people. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Y'all can be mad all y'all want. I don't yeah. care. Fuck out of here. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna do it for respect the little, your people. Little kid man. That want, that got that yeah, scholarship. Man. Yeah, respect y'all people. They got shot because your man is having a shootout. That's what the fuck I'm gonna do it for. Yeah, respect y'all people, man. You know what I'm saying? Love your people. Mm -hmm. Stop this, all this back and forth. You know what I mean? Torch is talk. You know what it is.